female red crabs can lay up to 100,000 eggs at once. Red crabs are native to Australia's Christmas Island. After the first rainfall of the wet season, millions of them flock from their homes in the rainforest to the shoreline. Red crabs always spawn before dawn. They wait for a receding high tide during the last quarter of the moon. When the moon reaches its last quarter, they gather on the shoreline and release their thousands of eggs into the sea. Oh, they grow up so fast. Number six, Japanese spider crabs can live to 100 years old. These geriatric giants live on the sea floor along the Pacific coast of Japan. They're the biggest crab in the world. They can have legs four meters long and weigh up to 20 kilograms. Their size could account for their long lifespan. And I'm sure Japanese spider crabs are wise beyond their years. Number five, crabs can amputate their own limbs. That might sound masochistic, but it's actually a method of self-defense. When a crab is attacked, they have a reflexive response to injury called autotomy. The injured limb separates from the body, allowing the crab a quick getaway from the predator. Luckily, the severed limbs can regenerate. Now that's what I call self-growth. Number four, crabs can experience pain. In a 2009 study, researchers from Queen's University in Belfast made a shocking discovery. Hermit crabs who received electric shocks to their shells quickly packed up and moved to a new shell. They were also found to rub the spot that was shocked, suggesting they remembered and continued to feel the pain. Ouch. Number three, crabs are born transparent. When baby crabs hatch in the water, they emerge as zoea. These transparent larvae only have a dorsal spine and a pair of large eyes. The time spent in the larval stage varies from a few weeks to over a year, depending on the species. For terrestrial crabs, larval life tends to be shorter, but the Dungeness crab native to Alaska spends its whole first year on Earth as a little larva. Number two, pea crabs could be an unwanted dinner guest. Next time you're at a fancy restaurant cracking open an oyster, you might want to check for this little guy. Pea crabs live in the mouth of bivalve mollusks like oysters. They feed off the oxygen, plankton, and mucus from their host. Ah, home sweet home. But these crabs wreak havoc on the shellfish industry. Mussels that host pea crabs have to be tossed out, resulting in the loss of billions of dollars. Number one, horseshoe crabs are instrumental to vaccine development. Despite their name, horseshoe crabs aren't technically crabs, or even crustaceans for that matter. Their closest relatives are spiders and other arachnids. But considering their importance in the medical world and the fact we're running out of them, we think they deserve the spotlight. The horseshoe crab's milky blue blood is the only natural source of limulus amoebocyte lysate. This substance detects a contaminant called endotoxin. If even a trace amount of endotoxin is found in vaccines or other sterile pharmaceuticals, it can be deadly. Every year, half a million Atlantic horseshoe crabs are rounded up, bled, and returned to the ocean. Many of the crabs die after this, and with an already dwindling population, it might be best to leave horseshoe crabs alone. If you want to learn more about how horseshoe crabs are integral to the health industry, check out our video that dives into all the details. Amputating their own limbs and surviving in diverse environments is what crabs do. And that's what makes them crazy creatures.